We are digging deeper into a state law after an $11 million lawsuit is filed in Multnomah County. It stems from a deadly hash oil explosion in Gresham. Now, that explosion happened while two men were using butane to make hash oil out of marijuana. The firefighters tell us butane is highly flammable and extremely dangerous. It is a problem so bad, state lawmakers are now taking action. Brent Weisberg has more. This is video that shows the potential danger of using butane to make hash oil from marijuana. In the last two years, drug investigators across the state have seen an increase in the number of fires and injuries resulting from butane explosions. Today, I checked with Oregon's Health Authority, which supervises the state's medical marijuana program. I've learned that right now, there are no rules about the extraction process when it comes to making hash oil out of medical marijuana. We really can't control what people choose to do with their medical marijuana uh, in the privacy of their own homes. A spokesperson says that the extraction process can be dangerous. These are pictures from an explosion in Tiger. Really, they should only use medical marijuana as it's prescribed to them. I also checked with Anthony Johnson. He's the chief petitioner for Measure 91, which goes into effect July 1st. Measure 91 will prevent anyone from making or having homemade marijuana extracts. Under Measure 91, um, extracts that utilize solvents like butane or propane uh, can only be made uh, legally by licensed processors, licensed by the OLCC. I checked with the OLCC today. They say eventually there will be a special license people will need to get to extract hash oil. The rules, though, are still being sorted out. I've learned that on June 1st, the OLCC will start looking into the rules surrounding processing marijuana extracts. Reporting in downtown Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.